All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to react to this comment that this female said about modern women and what's really going on with them. So let's get into it, man. Who raised you? That last bar was crazy. Oh my God. Uh, Children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't understand it neither. I'm just ahead of it. All right, man, we back. So before we get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. YouTube is doing something with our channel. We already talked about that, but we need y'all to hit that notification bell. Share the Sketchpad podcast. Hashtag that share, share, share Sketchpad podcast so everybody can see what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to keep this thing rolling, man. We ain't going to let YouTube kill our joy. We're going to keep it going. All right, look. We're going to let this woman speak and we're going to discuss it. Let's get it. We've created a generation of narcissistic women. And uh, what's happened is the rise of social media and the rise of online dating and the rise of feminism has taught women that they are not to blame for any poor choices. Every poor choice is glamorized. So if you want to be a sex worker, it's great. If you want to post in bikini pictures online, it's fine. If you want to be in with it, every poor choice is glamorized and every internal reflection is seen as gaslighting yourself. So they've even got terms for internal reflection to prevent it happening. And so what will happen is they are trained to not reflect on themselves because we've been told we've been oppressed for so many years. Now it's time to make sure we project. And so we don't take any accountability. And as a result, when we get into relationships, if we don't feel completely soothed all the time, he must be a narcissist. He must be a manipulator. He must be gaslighting. He, 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 rather than I, I, I. And unfortunately, we've got an online market that caters to that wounded woman, that caters to that entitled woman and caters to that narcissistic woman. And it's so wild to me that so many women talk about narcissism, but the society today has just is just catering to narcissistic women. We've created a generation of narcissists. Yeah, man. We back, man. Woo. That's some deep stuff, man. I'm going to tell you like this. She ain't lying. Everything she said is 100% facts. Mm -hmm. We have created a society of narcissistic women where they constantly tell men that they're narcissistic or men are misogynistic or whatever. It's always the mystics on the end of these words. You know what I'm saying? But what she's talking about is basically saying that society has made it acceptable for anything for a female to do because a woman cannot be considered wrong when it comes to feminism or anything that protects women. Everything is right when it comes to women. Everything. And the word that women are allergic to nowadays is accountability. They cannot take accountability for anything and i'm sorry ladies we just speaking facts you know what i'm saying i mean some of y'all the outliers out there will hold yourselves accountable and some of y'all will point the finger and say no you were wrong but the majority of y'all are not like that you know what i'm saying majority of y'all y'all fall right into this this whole this whole society of of uh you know what I mean? Whatever you want to call it, soup of, of of a mixture of social media and all types of stuff where you basically think that you're right about anything. If a guy said you need to get in the gym or oh, you're fat phobic, you're, you're, you, you don't like fat people. You hate fat people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's not wrong with that. It's not wrong with this. And y'all keep y'all. Hey, sis and and go queen and and all this stuff instead of just being honest with each other. Y'all bigging up each other for stuff that actually is destroying y'all when it comes to all the alphabet community, when it comes to 
uh, all the phobias that y'all put on men, everything. It just seemed to me like, like y'all just basically want to cater to each other and don't want to call each other out on stuff. So it's just basically like, oh, well, in the back of your head, you like, I know she wrong, but I don't care. It's like, it's like whenever a guy or a woman divorces her husband, the first thing they say is what? Well, what did he do? What did he do? It's true. But if it's a lady, or if, if, if the guy breaks up with the girl, with the girl, they don't say, well, what did she do? They say, well, you must have did something. Because for some reason, women don't think that women can actually hurt men. I, I just don't understand it. So what she's saying is 100% facts. Like, I agree yeah. with her 100%. And I, just, I just think that we do live in a narcissistic society of women who point at the finger and know it's all about me, it's all about me. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you go? I, I agree. I agree. Everything that uh, that young lady said. Um, you see this? See, we can't be surprised on, you know what I mean, how, how everything is being depicted now because um, if you look at it, like it was slowly going down this this way we could date back 10 years you know what i mean um like i believe we spoke about things similar to this before like um the value of a man has went down you know what i'm saying like we're 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 not valued like we should be anymore and I'm not saying that there's uh there is a woman out there that still value men and appreciate the kings or whatever like that. But I feel like nowadays there's more women that devalue the man than there is woman that values the man. Because whenever you see like, you know, you might even see some of the postings on social media. Whenever you see a uh for every woman that you see that values a man and appreciates the man for what he does, there's about 10 more that devalues the guy and say they don't need a man. So let me get this straight. How you don't need a man? You can't reproduce on your own. Let's just be f for real. I mean, yeah, you could go to a, a, a donor, but it's just not the same. So you can't reproduce on your own. You got to have a man in order to reproduce. You know what I'm saying? So how could you not need a man? Like, I don't understand. I really hate when women say that. And the whole narcissistic thing, it's facts. It's facts. Now, I'm not saying all women are narcissistic, but a good majority cover this whole landscape let's just be for real good majority covers the whole landscape and there's a lot of narcissistic women out there you know what i mean and they coming out the woodwork you see it on social media every day you know what i'm saying for every for every woman that's not narcissistic there's like 10 to 15 to 20 that are and they basically cover a majority of the ones that are not narcissistic. And whenever the ones that are not narcissistic speak out, you got the other ones that are come in the comment section and start shooting them down. You know, mm -hmm. I remember at a time where both parties were able to coexist and it just wasn't, it wasn't so much controversy. It wasn't so many clashing of the two. But nowadays, like, it's like, you know, whenever, whenever a confident man comes into the picture and says stuff like we say, we're, we're wrong. But then whenever a woman comes in and start devaluing, oh yeah, woman power, blah, blah, blah. So let me get you, so let me get this straight. It's okay 
to talk bad about a man, but when a man goes around and says the same exact thing, but it be truth to it, it's a bad thing. Like, I don't understand, man. This, topics like this, man, always, always, uh, you know, saying, you know, gets me annoyed because, like, there's not enough woman like that woman in that video. There's not enough woman like her. There's more woman like what she had explained. So. Yeah. Um. It's never been cool to be a sex worker. And yeah, I don't understand it. how this became a thing where now it's like the 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 sexual liberation or the hoism is celebrated now for some reason. I can't understand it. I don't I don't understand how that it's celebrated for women to have OF. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a it's like a it's like a glorious thing. It's like every girl is doing it now. Mm-hmm. Though when did it become a thing where money now seems like it's their husband? You know what I'm saying? You showing off yourself to people who don't even know you. Don't even see you. It's like, let me just show off. How can you expect to ever be with somebody seriously? Because no matter what anyone says, Every woman wants to be with a good man. And every good man wants to be with a good woman. But Mm -hmm. why would I want to be with a woman who is all over the internet? Just imagine you marry a girl or a woman who's all over the internet and you go to a restaurant and some guy knows who she is because he was subscribed to her OF channel and she done showed everything. How can that be? How can she be sacred to you? I could see if, okay, I could see if she was with her ex-boyfriend or maybe four or five ex-boyfriends, right? And with her four or five ex-boyfriends, she did videos and pictures. Okay, that's the ex-boyfriend. Of course, that would happen. But if you have an OF and now 10,000 people see who you are, how can I take you serious? And I know some women are going to be in the comments saying, oh, we don't care if men take us serious. We don't care. No, you care because when you get older and all of that beauty runs out, even if you wasn't ran through, you was still ran through because let's just say you didn't have sex with none of these guys and you just showed your body. Nobody wants to be with someone who showed their self off to a half of the population because once one picture get out online everybody got it even if they don't want to mm-hmm. have it they got it as long as they yep. gotta type your name into google boop and all your yep. pictures come up and let and, and don't let it and don't let some don't let you have an iphone and a hacker gets onto the cloud and you a celebrity and they uh, start leaking the pictures, then you you definitely done. Look at all the uh, big time female politicians that we have seen their photos online being exposed, naked, whatever. Look at all that. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it happens. So. I'm just saying no one wants to be with somebody who is doing all that. Mm-mm. Just be the queen that you are. Be a good woman. 
you know, and you'll find a good man. That's how I'm going to say that. But, hey, man, thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Peace. Good night.